All right, Sam, we will see you then. The list of power outages across Connecticut continues to get smaller and smaller. Crews working to help those who've been in the dark since Wednesday. But as you can imagine, the impact has been hard for many people. News 8's Amy Hudak has that story. Brian, a tree warden came and stapled a note to this tree saying it needed to be taken down weeks ago. But it never was, and Mother Nature had her way. The family who lives here has been in the dark and in the cold for four days, and they're frustrated. Ralph Coppola says he's been fighting with Eversource for a year to take this tree down, or at least trim it away from power lines. There was a big bang, uh, sparks all over the place. Coppola in the cold and dark for four days. He says his frustration stemmed from not getting a straight answer from Eversource about cleaning up the mess. Every time I called them, they had a different story. They told me it would be an hour. They told me it would be two hours. They told me it was done. Coppola also requires a CPAP machine to breathe. He says Eversource told him he wasn't a medical priority for power restoration. Someone dropped the ball and... Lo and behold, I'm the one that suffered for it. Eversource praising their work Sunday in restoring power to tens of thousands. Progress is really outstanding. The power company saying they had 36 crews out working and had them alone Sunday and will have everybody back up and running before Monday morning. It's now a race against time before a third nor'easter potentially pummels the East Coast Monday night into Tuesday. We prepare for severe weather every day. We're watching the forecast. If need be, we'll be ready one more time. With two nor'easters in the past two weeks, a lot of the infrastructure is already weakened and or damaged. It's now a waiting game to see what will happen with the storm potentially Monday night into Tuesday. In Branford, Amy Hudak, News 8.